Okay, here it goes, guys. We're going up. Very slowly, but we're still going up. Kenny? What's he got there? Don't tell me it's a little girl dead or something. Kenny. We don't want to be seeing that. You okay, man? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Is that a duck? No. Yes, I actually thought it was Duck. Just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. Um. I'll take care of it? Oh, gosh. Let me take care of it. I don't want to be doing this. Are you sure? No. I guess we'll find out. Um. Oh God, guys! I cannot believe I volunteered to do this. Poor kid. Must have tried <clears throat> to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found him when I did. Um. Best way to kill it. Uh, do you know what? I'll probably have to say the gun. Instant death. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I should apologise. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. We should bury him. I'll what, take care of it. With his dog? Alright, whatever. Let's bury him with his dog. Probably. Ouch. That is so depressing. What are we like twenty five minutes into this well, into into this season four? Episode four even? Not season four. We're not even on to season two yet. Uh drop the body in. And I wasn't I was right. We're burying you with your dog. Which by the way is now headless. Yep, now we can do it. If we could look at the boy for some reason. I'm not sure why we need to look at him again, but... I really like Lee. He's a cool character.
And again, shovel some more dirt. And again. Oh my god! Yes, they were. Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Um, stay here and help. I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Well, now I feel bad. But it's true, she's safer so here. you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. Yep. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house... You shoot him. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Hmm, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but... I'm sure... Well, okay, I'm not sure. But I'm sure that's a good decision. Okay, let's do this, guys. Hmm, Kenny looks happy. Do you know, I genuinely did think that was Duck, by the way. I figured, how the hell did he get here, but... Uh, yeah, you want to talk? Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No, 
You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. Hey, we're just trying to be a good friend. Son Don't shoot us down. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Well, they're all going past us. Maybe they're trying to do us a favor. But the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> hey, I've got to give them that one. It may be a bit morbid at the moment, but he's still got the cracking jokes. I bet he was dying to tell that joke. D dying, you know, walking there. Still nothing moving <laughs> behind it. Okay. Sorry. I think we're. Oh my god. Well, there goes that plan. Uh, time for plan B. Sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Damn it, Kenny. I think that one's in the water, which to me one is sank. Uh, seriously? You got a better seriously? fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Okay, yeah, where's that telescope? Hmm. Ah, oh, here. Bingo. Let's have a look what's in here then. Great. Needs a quarter to work. I can hear something. Wow. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some Stay kind of out. Warning? We'll do something like this. <laughs> Sorry, they do look kind of funny. I'm not going to shoot them. Oh, we can look at the markings. D O F six eight O B. Could be military tags. Double A J sixty eight zero B. Oh, cash register. Can we get any? There's some change in the drawer. Hello, beautiful. Why, hello there, Lee. Oh god damn. Damn it. Okay, uh ooh, new stand. No. Someone already looted the place. What about the window? Have you got anything to say about the window? What kind of make it is, when it was made? I think it's got something to say about it. Okay, let's have a look around for some more. Hey, yes, newspaper machine. Locked. Damn it. Yes. Ha ha, bingo. That's one way around it. So look at the truck for some reason. Must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only 
things didn't go as planned. Hmm. Okay, so now we get to go on the telescope. I'm not going to shoot them, am I? Oh! Sorry, I was being a spaz. So yeah, these three people are hung. All zombies are hung. But look at all the dead bodies, guys. Wow. Quarter. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Oh, oh, oh. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Oh. I didn't realize it was me controlling then. Um, we can look at the building. Like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Looks like a submarine, if anything. Um, Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Hello? What the hell? Oh, okay, we're playing Spider Man now. Alright. Yeah, that was a good find. I wasn't expecting that. Spider Man. Or is it Green Arrow? Whichever. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe it's just a scavenger. Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Okay, um, can't see this. Just want to talk to this guy. Yes, talk. Kenny. We don't want to shoot him. I do like you, Kenny. Let's not kill him. What the? Oh! I did try and... Oh no, I did try and hit him! Oh, I did try and hit. Hit them in the face. Never mind. Was that just me? No! Don't you dare. Clementine, what are you doing Clem? here? Please, don't hurt him! Yeah, seriously, don't hurt me. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy in the radio? Crawford? Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! <laughs> no, he's with us! <laughs> I love how Lee has to say it just in the nick of time. you people um everyone just everyone calm down just calm down I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is back off asshole the name's molly molly i'm lee this is kenny and clementine i'm not looking for any trouble hi oh god she's so cute <laughs> okay i'm stopping that now you guys really aren't from crawford are you um, what's Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? 
When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Not anymore? Why not children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Uh. What exactly did Crawford hmm. do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Is she the leader of Crawford or something? Is that how she knows so much? Or is she just a scavenger like we said? Uh... Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. To be fair, we knew it wasn't her, but you never mind. Uh, who's been ringing those bells? Who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. Okay. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <sighs> I've been following you. I don't even know who the <laughs> hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Well, that's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? 